Good morning, Brother Brian. Rick Rowe, we're in Texarkana. I love this town, love the people that live here, and I love what some people have done, especially downtown to some of the older buildings. Look at this place. It's gorgeous now, full of beautiful art, but it wasn't always beautiful. In fact, it was actually built, I'm sure it was beautiful when it was built in 1894, but then time does what it does, and this is what it looked like when it was purchased in 2017. It used to be an old produce kind of a warehouse distribution center. Some fella purchased it and gave it life, turned it into an art gallery, and it is gorgeous. By the way, speaking of gorgeous, I love that. Now, the reason I love that because it's got a taste of, that's one of the most famous places in America. Believe it or not, that's the courthouse in Texarkana. Lots and lots of people still to this very day have their picture made because they can have their picture made in two different states. That buffalo is in Texas, and he's also in Arkansas. That's the cool thing about where we are. Now, Debbie, excellent work here. I love what you guys have done with the art gallery, and what's, what's really cool about this place is it's all local or regional, right? Yes, it is. We represent about 100 artists and authors, and they're from around here. Really? Okay. So they show their art here. They sell it, and, and you guys probably get a little bit of a commission. We get or something. a thirty-five percent commission, okay. so the artists get sixty-five. So they get it's a good deal for I bet. both parties. I suspect that when people come to visit Texarkana, they come here. I would. We have uh, a lot of our visitors are from out of town. Our visitor centers around here are really good about sending people our way. Absolutely. By the way, the floors, folks, eighteen ninety-four. Yes. I still find that incredible how floors survived that wood back in the day, and they just built things to last back in those days. But this is a beautiful building. In fact, we're going to be spending some time here this morning. But first of all, let's talk about these are the booths for these are local our artists. artists booths. Okay. Uh, so they're able to hang the work they would like to hang here. They change it out regularly. Love it. Keep on, keep it on. Is this piano for sale? What, what no, is this? Right to the right here. It's right just to a the right, piece. Jeff. Oh, it's just a display piece. Okay, very good. And this, what is that? Uh, we have a, a gentleman who has started taking photos of the graffiti on boxcars. <laughs> so you've got some real eclectic. Oh, golly. I, I got to tell you, like Linda Lowry or Larry. 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 Just beautiful work. And to think it was all done by local folks. So we're going to cruise around to the other side. By the way, growing up in the 60s, as I did, this reminds me of home. And it was designed. You too, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, love the era. And the furniture is just awesome from that time period. Speaking of awesome, let's just keep on moving. Boy, if you love art, folks, you're going to love this. Look at this. And we'll finish right here. That was done by a retired nurse. Yes. Uh, she was at our end. She raises a baby and horses. Wow. Uh, she lives in Ashdown. Beautiful work, folks. Again, this is right downtown. So, you know, we've been talking about all the really cool things happening in downtown Texarkana. A day trip. I highly recommend it. Come have maybe burgers and fries at TLC's. There's also an Italian place right around here. A lot of nice places to eat to browse and maybe spend a little money. What do you say? Definitely. Baby? Everybody should come downtown. Come see us in Texarkana. Jade, you would love that. I know you're an artist in disguise. Am I right about that? I don't know about that, but I could use some nice pieces of art. <laughs> I already see some pieces that I want there. There you go. We, what about you, we, Nate? I'm going to open up my wallet for you. You, you just pick something out and I'll bring it home. What do you say? Oh, okay. Something small okay. and significant. Small. Yeah. <laughs> really sure. small. Really it's small. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, there's small. some good pieces. I My theme in my living room is like yellow and silver and a little bit of green. Oh, the couch would have matched perfect. Yes. Yeah. Rick, can you bring home a, a couch? You and a pho photographer Jeff there? Toss it on top of the you, news You know what? Uh, we're going to have to get us a U-Haul. We'll get us a U-Haul. <laughs> okay. All right. Good deal. Yeah, for sure. Thanks a lot, Rick. Your time right now is 521. Coming up next on First News, a bombshell ending for a case made famous by the podcast Serial. 
Good morning, everybody. Rick Rowe. We're in Texarkana, and this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a really long time. We're going back 100 years, the 1920s, maybe. And this is a place that used to be called a speakeasy. And what you would do, you would come to the door, and then someone would open the door. Do you have a password? Um, 911. How about that? And here we are, folks. We're inside a place called the Banana Bar. This is too cool. Too cool. All right, Miss Pam, I'm loving it. And basically what this is is kind of a replica of what we used to call the speakeasies during, during the Prohibition era, 1920s, 1930s. That's how yeah. you got into a bar. Yeah, you had right. to give them, it was, uh, it was illegal to be here. It's not illegal anymore, but this is super cool. What's the idea? The, just to replicate the, the past, bring it now, uh, make something interesting, something that you know people don't see every day. The decor is incredible. I mean, this is amazing. I'm assuming, because now that I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this for the very first time, this has got to be enormously popular. It is very popular. When David Peavy started this, he created it with recycled, repurposed materials. Beautiful. So most of it wow. is harvested from this building. My God. Oh, by the way, this is the old 1894. used to be a produce building. Then it was in basically disuse for decades. Uh, he bought it in 2017. It's turned it into an art gallery upstairs. And this is this incredible replica of a speakeasy down in the basement and folks it is incredible i mean i'm seeing this for the very first time and i'm just saying are you kidding me really really well done now is there food as well or it's just it's just drinking at times we do have food okay. yes wow. uh, it's uh, kind of a pop-up kitchen kind of thing okay. at the moment Beautiful. When are you open? We're open on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. Okay. Uh, live music starts about 8. My gosh, folks, just one more reason. I'm telling you, the more I see in Texarkana, I would not have thought there would have been this much to see and do. A lot of really good things happening downtown. And when you come, even if you're not a drinker, you just need to see this place. It's called the Banana Bar in the old 1894 building. Just one more reason to come and visit Texarkana. Back to you. Ooh, that That's looks so fun. Pretty cool. Hopefully you remember the password there, Jade. Mm, I hope so. Goodness. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you get in. Be sure to join us this Thursday for lunch at Pecan Point Gastro Pub and Brewery for the Community Caravan as it continues on. You can find more news at KTBS.com and your KTBS Now Connected devices. Good morning, everybody. Rick Rowe. Thank you, Brian. Rick Rowe, we're going back in time. I love this. My goodness. Talk about nostalgia. I remember as a little boy growing up in the 60s and 70s, we sat around a table just like this and had mom would make waffles, made really good waffles on Sunday, roast beef, turnip greens, which I didn't like too much. But this just brings back memories. And this whole place, folks, you talk about memories. This is an event center in Texarkana. It's actually the second floor of a building that really dates back to 1894. But a very creative guy, the last name is Peavy, bought this and converted it into a number of things. An art gallery, which we're going to visit here in just a second. And this place, which if you grew up, came of age in the 70s, were born in the 70s, you'll love this. It is covered in 70s nostalgia. It's old, old uh, Radio Shack computers, Look at this, folks. Speaking of, that's an old Pong. That's one of the original. In fact, that is the original video game. Look. Look at Jeff. Come on. Play that game, baby. Look at this. Folks, this is what we grew up. When, I, when we saw this for the first time, we said, wow. <laughs> Did you say wow the first time you saw oh, that? yes, definitely. definitely. Do you not say so wow well. even now? When I walked here, you know that. I'm not lying. I said, wow. When you walk into this place... And, and that's why people love having weddings here, wedding receptions, parties, anniversaries, class anything. Class reunions. Class reunions. I mean, yes. it does, especially if you came up, your know, class dates to the 70s. Yeah. It's just incredible, folks. Again, they've taken this old building, 1894, and converted it into a number of things, including 
a speakeasy downstairs. But right now, let's walk downstairs. I'll let you go first, Jeff, because the first floor is an art gallery, Pam, which I love because it's all local or regional artists, folks. And there's some really talented people in this town. I'm, I'm just so impressed with what I'm finding in Texacana. I've been talking about a day trip. When you come, make sure you drop into the gallery. Yes. Why? Why should they, Pam? We have the best, the largest selection of local regional art in the area. And it's really good. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. By the way, the floors, I'm fascinated by history. These are original. And this fellow, Peavy, bought this thing in 2017. It had not been used. It was in disrepair, decaying, had not been used for decades. And he's given it new life. It's really very, very cool. And then back this way, again, it's a place where if you're an artist and you're in this part of the country, you can display your artwork here yes. and sell it, right? These right. are the booths. These are artist booths. Uh, they also have uh, art throughout the gallery, but the artists are responsible for taking care of the booths, keeping the artwork, you know, current. Absolutely. Well, look, and it's really good. Like, just, just for instance, right there, the, the, the lady with the rose. That was done by a retarded, re retarded, I apologize for that, retired nurse right from right here. Correct, yes. Uh, work. She raises Arabian horses and she paints. God She's man. awesome. Incredible. Right here in Texarkana. I want to finish up right here because talk about nostalgia. This takes me back. This is the 1960s, 1970s living room. Pam, come on, sit right here. You and I would sit here and we'd be watching Bonanza. Oh, yeah. Or Star Trek. One or the other. Or Gunsmoke. <laughs> anyway, super cool place, folks. Again, I'm telling you about all the good things happening in Texarkana, downtown, a lot of really good things happening. And this is one of them. When you come to Texarkana for the day trip, 1894 Gallery, and then the incredible 70s event center, and then there's a speakeasy. You make sure you tune in at 645. We're going to take you downstairs to a very unique place called the Banana Bar. It's a speakeasy, and it's super cool. Jade, Nate, how about this? Do you guys even remember... Gunsmoke, Bonanza, does that strike a memory thing at all with y'all? Yeah, <laughs> the old westerns. Um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Best. So cool. And you're the sitting on Western. my couch. Right. You're going to bring the back Brady to bunch. me. <laughs> That's right. We're getting the U-Haul. We're going to rent a U-Haul right here in Texarkana, Pam. Take this on home to Shreveport. <laughs> Miss awesome. Jade. All right, we got to go to break. Good morning, everybody. You know, I love taking you to the places that are, I think, are really special, real treasures, and in this particular case, a real mystery. Let me show you something. What's the password? 911. Okay, now what you're looking at is something I've never seen. I've heard about it. This goes back to the 1920s, 1930s, prohibition. If you wanted to go to a bar back in those days, you came to a place like this. It was called a speakeasy, and this is a replica of one that's really, really nice one. And believe it or not, it's, it's in Texarkana, folks. Not Chicago, not New York. This is in Texarkana. <laughs> in fact, in the basement of a beautiful old building that's been turned into an art gallery called the 1894. Pam, I, I am blown away. This is incredible. And what you guys have done to the, what used to be the old basement of the old 1894 building is just amazing. What happens in here? This is the 1923 Banana Club. So we have uh, live music. We have uh, shows that happen periodically. You have a bar? We have a bar. We have wine and beer at the moment, working on a liquor license. You also and have a dinner theater. We have a dinner theater. at the Right now, what we have going is an evening with the Phantom. And it's a... a loose interpretation of what happened in 1946 with the phantom killer here in Texarkana. This is a series of murders, folks. You may not know this, that actually happened here 
in the mid-1940s. It was a case that was never sol solved. This is where it, so this is going to happen this weekend. This is that correct? This weekend, yes, sir. The show will uh, have its first public viewing this weekend. Right here on stage, and then you're actually going to serve food. You don't always serve food, right. but tonight, this weekend, you will. Right, we will. Okay. And I'd say the way it's been decorated, I mean, it's just incredible. You've utilized what was here because this was the old basement of this huge building that used used to refrigerate produce right next. By the way, it's right next to the railroad tracks, and that's why it was located here. I just, it's incredible what you have turned this into. What a cool place. I've never seen anything like it. I know there's not one like it in our part of the country, Pam. <laughs> well, they are all around the country. I don't know of another one close by, but larger cities, San Antonio, right. um, anyway. Dallas. Well, there's none like this. Okay, this is one of, it, of a kind. And by the way, you, you have to be a member, but the membership yes. is free. free. And you go to your gallery, which is right upstairs, the 1894 gallery, and you become a member, which is free, and you give them the password, right? We'll give them the password. And the secret, and it changes every day. Because, well, not daily, but it does change. But anyway, folks, another reason to make a day trip to Texacana. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like it. The 1923 Banana Bar in the old 1894 building. There it is, folks. A speakeasy in Texarkana. How about that? Mm. There it is. Gosh, what if I go there and no one tells me the password? You're going to have to <laughs> sign up to be a member, I guess. Oh, my goodness. They'll let you in. I hope so. Be sure to join us this Thursday for lunch at Pecan Point Gastro Pub and Brewery for this week's Community Caravan as it rolls on. You can find more news at KTBS.com and your KTBS Now Connected.